and Jay here and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It is a good day too. We're out here bumping around on the back roads up here in Northeast Arkansas. We had to travel up here today because I had to go meet with a graduation advisor to get approved for my college graduation. And we got good news. I got approved. Woo! I'm graduating in May. This is big news. And to <laughs> celebrate, Jay and I are out here, you know, checking out some of our old stomping grounds. And uh, we're doing some fishing. We're gonna hit some ditches up, hopefully catch a largemouth or a spotted, spotted bass, bass or a catfish. I don't care what we catch. I'm just excited because I'm graduating. I'm excited to be up here and going fishing because it's a beautiful day. And I think we're gonna smoke some. I hope so. I hope so too. So we're on our way to the first ditch. We'll catch you guys over there and hopefully we'll get a big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big old bass. Big old big one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting off with a little, little square build crankbait. That's six cents fifty X. Water's a little bit murky today, which is could be in our advantage because usually the water's pretty clear and the fish get kind of spooky of us. But since it's kind of murky, they may not see us coming up on them. All right, let's move on down. Oh, a turtle. Just a shell. A shell? Yeah. Check it out, guys. I got a new turtle shell. I'm always hunting turtle shells when I'm out on the river or on the creek or the ditch or wherever I'm at because I love to collect them. I think I'll leave it right here. Hopefully, I won't forget about it. I'll set it right here out in the open. Nice. Fish, 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 fish. Good one, good one, good one, good one. Good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. You got some green stuff. You got a nice, nice large mouth right here. Oh, uh, what do I do? I gotta go down there. He's barely hooked. I'm going down for this fish. Hope I don't fall in. Oh, I don't know. I can't go down there. It's too slick. Oh no. I'm just going for it. Oh, he's up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I got a bass and a bunch of plastic. Oh crap. Just got hooked up together. Look at that fish guys. How's about that for a start? And look at those black spots on his tail. Oh my gosh, Jay, look at those little black spots on it. Oh, wow. Dude just barely nipped that square bill down there. That's a chunky one. That's like almost three pounds. Oh, sweet, okay. Whew, get him unhooked. Check it out, there's my fish number one. Does he have spots on that side? Let me flip him over so you can see those spots on him. Beautiful, healthy fish in this ditch. Got these beautiful black spots on his tail and on his body. Awesome, awesome, awesome fish. This is number one on the day. So this is the bait that fish ate. It's that six cents uh, 50X square bill. It's just in a crawfish color. I think it's Ozark craw. These fish love crawfish in this ditch. Perfect imitation, it's slightly dirtier water. Awesome fish, okay, I'm gonna get it back. All right, since I can't get down there, I'm just gonna give you a light toss back into the drink. Okay, here we go. Awesome. All right, looking for another big one. And one maybe that's not as hectic to land. There he is. Another nice fish, that spot. That's a spot, that's a big spot. It's a big spot. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Look at there, guys. First spotted bass today. Look how chunky he is. Just like a little football. Woo! I felt it. I felt it coming. This is a good spot right here. It's pretty deep. And uh, they're just hanging out. Waiting for crankbaits to come by. Man, these hooks are sharp. He is got. There we go. 
Another fish, first spotted bass of the day. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back in the water. Fish. What is that? Is that a bat? Yeah, it is a bass. Little guy. I thought it was a brim. Cute little spot. Number three. Biggin. Biggin. Not a biggin. I'm going in. It's that dirt's breaking away. Holy crap. Whew. I'm losing my footing right here. Just another little guy. Largy. So we caught two largies and two spots all on this little square bill crankbait today. Still looking for some big ones, but I am 100% down to catch these all day long. Fish on! Oopsie daisy. Oh gosh. Way up that slope. He choked that swim bait. My goodness. Okay. See ya. Oh my gosh, I got another one. Another one. Oh my gosh, that's a better one. Oh, dang it, he came off. Dang it. Man. Well, maybe there's another one. Oh gosh, there's another one. There is, oh! Man, I'm going down there. Oh gosh. Well, who do we have here? A nice little spotted bass. Check him out. He choked the swim bait too. I love their beautiful red eyes. Sweet. Okay. So that's three three bites from that one spot. Maybe there's another one. Hey. Turtle shell. Add that to the collection. Okay, next spot. Kind of change things. I'm throwing a little wacky rig now. This is a little bit a little bit shallower water. And uh, it's a little bit too big of a slope here. I can't get really close to the bottom, to the base where it meets the water. So that crankbait's just not gonna work right here, I don't think. There's a bunch of turtles hanging out right here. A ton of turtles. Begin. Diamondback. Are you gonna catch it? Are you gonna catch it? Jay's going in after a snake. He can't see me. Sketchy. It looks like a diamondback. Is that a diamondback, Jay? Yeah. Pretty good size diamondback in the creek. Three, two. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's your first diamondback of the year. Oh, he's striking. Woo! Okay, now I need to get out of here. Yeah, you're all the way down the bottom of that ditch. My foot is stuck. Nice catch, Jay. Mm. Hey, you left it all out there. That's a beautiful, oh my oh, gosh. That's a big one. Oh, he got me. Oh. I'm trying to get up. Oh, he got me. 
Wow, that snake is latched onto your hand. <laughs> oh gosh. I think his teeth is stuck in my hand actually. Let's see if you can gently get him off. Nice and easy. There we go. Let's see a bite. Whoops. Oh wow. Look at all those spots where the teeth went in. Check awesome it out. Job, Check it out. Her first diamondback of the year, right? <laughs> yeah. Finally. We have an awesome. And he's trying to strike My hand face. is bleeding like crazy. He got me several times. All right, Jay, tell me about that snake catch. Well, we were walking, walking along the bank and I saw him slither in the, into the water and I was like, dang, I think that's a diamondback. So, of course, I had to go after him. And he was in the water a little bit. It was a, It's really steep. Yeah, it's really steep. We all saw how steep that was. And it's really <laughs> slick from all the recent rain. And so. my, I'm so muddy. My boots are filled with water, but it is so worth it. Yeah, look at him. This I is love a beautiful these snake. So this is a non-venomous snake, for sure. You know that Jay would not go after a venomous snake no. that way. The name Diamondback is kind of intimidating because you think of it as a Diamondback rattlesnake, but this is the Diamondback water snake. He's got those round pupils that indicate that he is non-venomous. He also has this really beautiful Diamondback pattern, which they get their name from. Spectacular snake, an awesome find. It's awesome to catch snakes in February, everybody. Spring <laughs> is on the way. And there's more of these to come. I bet we'll find some more today. What do you think, Jay? Ooh. He is grumpy, though. And that's why we like them, is they're grumpy. <laughs> oh, he got the camera. He got the camera. <laughs> we told you they don't like cameras. Oh, gosh, he's got the mic. He's got the mic. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I think it's time to put our buddy back. Yeah, you let's ready, see Jay? him back. He would much rather go back to his little hidey hole. And we would like to get back to fishing. He's gone. Awesome, Jay. Give me some. Fish, 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 fish. Good fish. Get out of that stuff. Spotted bass. Get up here. On that wacky worm, baby. Come here. There we go. <sighs> Swap things up a little bit. Got my first bass on the finesse gear. Whew. Throwing out a little six inch. <sighs> Guggen baits, little slim shake worm on a wacky head. And I got this fat, beautiful, chubby little spotted bass. Awesome fish. My line just kind of loaded up. And uh, I think I had a fish and I felt a head shake and I knew he was on. That's the first fish from the new spot. Let's send him back to the ditch. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh, biggin. Oh gosh, he smoked it. Oh gosh. I'm going, going to him. <laughs> he's not that big, but he's a good one. Jay hooked up. You got him? Here, hold him up to me. Beautiful fish. What are you? I love swim their bait? eyes. Huh? Yeah, swim bait. Yeah, let's go look at those eyes. Beautiful yeah. orange eyes. He smoked the swim bait as soon as it hit the water. That was so cool. Crazy. Okay, you can get him back in the water? Yeah. Peace. So the other spots that we were fishing at just weren't really working out for us. So we decided to come back to spot number one. And so far, so good. Oh, doubles! <laughs> Another one! Cole just hooked up with one, and I just hooked up with one. Another spot. Hey, Cole, we doubled. Woo! Oh, my God. Woo! That fish came out of the water. I thought I saw something coming up behind it. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! Check that fish out, guys. Another nice spotted bass. 
destroyed that crushed crankbait. Beautiful fish. I thought I saw like a shadow come behind that fish or behind my bait. I mean, as always, these triple grip hooks just always hook these fish. Nice fish. I'm glad we came back to this spot. See you later, bud. Oh, cool. <laughs> We just finished up fishing at the ditch. We didn't catch anything else. And uh, we decided to drive into town, come over to Academy. We're gonna go outside and look at some fishing baits for a little bit. And then we're gonna head this truck back to the house and we will see you back there. All right, we made it back home. And before we sign off on today's video, we want to touch base on a few things with y'all. Like, first off, what we were throwing. Yes. So Jason, I grabbed that fishing rod. So the primary lure that we, that, well, that I was throwing yesterday that seemed to catch the most fish was this little crankbait right here, okay? So that is that six cents Crush 50X square bill. It's an awesome square bill, probably the best square bill on the market. And uh, I was throwing this little crawfish color. I said in the video that it was called Ozark crawl, but I think it's actually called something else, like tipped crawfish. But that's not really relevant because it is an awesome bait. It's like all in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an awesome bait. <laughs> um, and we, I was throwing it on that on that six cents uh, Lux series rod. I haven't really thrown these rods very much. I just recently got into trying them out. That was like my first outing with that particular rod. This one was actually designed for throwing the six cents square bills and their movement ADX crankbaits. And uh, so that had me really intrigued because those are the crankbaits I throw all the time. And uh, this is seven foot four medium heavy, and I used it the whole day, and it was awesome. Okay, it had a great feel to it. I could really feel the, the crankbaits vibrating down there. I could really handle those fish. I boat flipped them up the side of that bank, and uh, it was awesome. So I just wanted to let you guys know my review on that six cents rod before we touched, before we signed out. And also, I wanted to let you guys in on a little secret. I guess it's not really a secret. It's not a secret. It's not really a secret, but. Uh, you six, want to know about it. Yeah, you definitely want to know about that if you don't know about it already. <laughs> Sixth Sense has released a ton of new colors in that square bill and uh, several of their new model crankbaits like their Curve 55 and their uh, Mini Mags and their Cloud C6 crankbaits that you're going to want to check out. We're going to pop them up here on the screen so you can kind of check them out. And we're also going to leave a link in our video description to the website so you can check out all the new colors of crankbaits. Like, I got online last night and, and I had to order a, cute, a few of them because <laughs> they just launched and I, don't, I didn't want to miss out on them and I don't want any of you guys to miss out on them. If you're interested in throwing some new six cents crankbaits this spring. And also right here, we're leaving the link to our promo code on six cents website, CJ10. Punch that code in at checkout and you can get 10% off your order. That's awesome. And another thing that we want to touch base with is for those who might be concerned about me getting bit by that snake, <laughs> it, I'm really okay. I wasn't getting bit on purpose. I was just kind of in a weird situation. Yeah. <laughs> and she was down at the bottom of that trench and it was super slick and she was like barely hanging on without sliding into the ditch But she really wanted to catch that snake because it was our first diamondback water snake of the year And um, for those of you who don't know what a diamondback water snake is, it's, it's one of Arkansas's largest uh, Non-venomous aquatic snake species and they have a terrible attitude, but they're so much fun to catch We've caught them all our lives and we're gonna leave a link to that species in the video description too So you can check it out and read all about it for yourself But I'm really okay as soon as we left there. I went and washed my hands really good You can't even tell that mm -mm. I got bit. Yeah, so. it's all good it's just part of the game. You're gonna catch snakes, you're gonna get bit sometimes, but it's all right. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that she doesn't get bit by anything venomous though this year. But on that note, we are going to end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If yes. you liked it, hit the like button for us. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future adventures. We're, we're calling Jay, and we'll catch you on the next video. Oh.